Let's try to learn about the CIA triad. CIA stands for Confidentiality, Integrity, and Availability. This is a model designed to guide policies for information security within an organization. The model is also sometimes referred to as AIC triad, called as Availability, Integrity, and Confidentiality. This That is done in order to avoid any confusion with central intelligence agencies. So there are two different things. The elements of triad are considered as the three most crucial components of information security. In IT, we have two kinds of data. One, the data which is sitting at rest in your hard disks, in storage. Second, is the data which is in transit moving from one point to another point. We as the guardians of data are responsible to ensure the confidentiality of the data at rest and the data in transit, integrity and availability of the data at rest and the data in transit. Let's try to understand what each of them mean and how we can achieve them. Confidentiality is equivalent to privacy. When I send information to you, you receive it and nobody else. When I send a FedEx to you or a parcel to you, you receive it and nobody else. That's what confidentiality means. So the person authorized to receive the sensitive information should be the one receiving it. We as information security administrators, we restrict the people from unauthorized access. Access must be restricted to those authorized to view the data in question. Data is categorized according to the amount and type of damage that could be done if it falls into unintended hands. There should be stringent measures that are taken in order to ensure confidentiality of data. Confidentiality in information technology is achieved with the help of encryption. So when I encrypt the data, the data will have certain keys. In order to decrypt the data, you need keys. So the person who receives the content will then use his keys to decrypt it. So encryption is a common method to ensure confidentiality. User IDs, password, authentication mechanisms, biometric verifications, soft tokens, security tokens, these are certain examples of implementations of ensuring confidentiality. Going to point number two, which is integrity. Integrity means ensuring that the person who receives the data is the person who receives it. This is the right person. Plus, the data is received as is in unmodified state. In the first point, which is confidentiality, we ensure that the right person receives it. In the second point, we ensure not just that, but we also ensure that the person receives an unmodified, unaltered state. Integrity involves maintaining the consistency, accuracy, and trustworthiness of the data over its entire life cycle. Data must not be changed in transit. Data must not be changed while it is sitting on the disk. And there must be steps taken to ensure that the data cannot be altered by unauthorized people. These measures, including file permissions and user account controls, are implemented to ensure integrity. Version control may be used to prevent any erroneous changes or accidental deletion by authorized users is becoming a problem. In addition, uh, users becoming a problem or in some means must be there in place to detect any changes that, are, that, that may occur as a result of non-human ch caused events such as electromagnetic pulse or a server crash. So we will employ mechanisms like hashing, checksums, cryptographic che checksums or verification of integrity done in order to ensure uh, the integrity of that file and the data. Availability is best ensured by rigorously maintaining all hardware, performing hardware repairs, 
immediately when needed and maintaining a correctly functioning operating system environment that is free of software conflicts. It is very important to keep current with all necessary system upgrades, do the patching, get the right bandwidth for your office, uh, prevent the occurrence of bottlenecks that are really required. Organizations implement RAID, which is a redundant array of inexpensive disks to have redundancy of data available between multiple disks. You will have high availability cluster setup, load balancer setup, go ahead and take backups, perform disaster recovery in worst case scenarios. Uh, you may have comprehensive DRP plan, disaster recovery plan when things go wrong. You can always bring the data from your backups and from the vaults. You safeguard data against any loss or interruptions in connections. So that is also uh, includes unpredictable events such as natural disaster and fire. So to prevent any data loss from such occurrences, you will have a backup copy that is actually stored in a geographically isolated location, perhaps in a fireproof or water safe environment. There's extra equipment of software such as firewalls and proxy servers that can guard against downtime and unreachable data due to malicious attacks such as DOS attacks. DOS is denial of service attacks and network intrusions. CI Triad is the paradigm for information security and it is very important to safeguard the IT infrastructure because that is your intellectual property. That is where you have stored your maps, your formulas, your several patented information that you do not want to give it out to the world. I would like to or like you to read about um, a case study which is called as the Edward Snowden case study. Go ahead and look, look, uh, search for this user, Edward Snowden, in the internet, and you will know what happened and how the citizens' credentials, specifically the American citizens' credentials and the personal data, were released to the public world in massive volume. And in how you can protect your infrastructure by taking relevant measures and that history does not repeat. Thank you.